Hey guys, so it's uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, been about three months, I think, since I last uploaded. Uh, seems like uh, it was seems like a long time ago, really. Much uh, simpler times, much easier times uh, before. I think like the coronavirus exploded into to what it is now. Uh, and then before all the shit that's currently going on now with George Floyd and riots and all this bullshit, uh, it's crazy. Um, and I just haven't been uploading because, quite frankly, I just haven't had the energy uh, or the time to upload. Uh, I'll get ideas for videos and I'll start to film them, and then I'll just cut filming because I know that they're going to go nowhere and I'm going to just, they're going to be no good. So I just end it and I delete the footage and whatnot. But this is a topic that I do have opinions on and that I definitely feel is worth talking about. And just so you know, this video is probably going to be somewhat long and rambly because I want to get my thoughts out there. And if I don't get them out there in the most concise and clear matter, then I apologize. And I'm also going to need a drink uh, for this video. So, I think I want to start with, I guess, my overall uh, opinion on this debacle. Now, I, I think that most people can agree, uh, okay? And I, if you don't, if you've seen the footage and you don't agree with this, then with this particular part then you must be fucking insane, or you must have a really, 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 really biased agenda or something. But if you've seen the footage, like, I don't care how pro-cop you are, I don't care how pro-police you are, I don't care, you know, what, what, what your ideology is, you know, it doesn't matter. What what Derek Chauvin did, which is the name of the police officer that murdered George Floyd, what he did was murder. Like you can see him, he I think he had he had his knee on uh, George's neck, and for eight minutes and forty six seconds, according to a New York Times article, which I'll post uh, down in the description box below. But and he essentially suffocated him, like strangled him to death, essentially, and he was saying that he couldn't breathe. You know, and, you know, crying out for his for his mom who was dead. I mean, it was very disturbing, very upsetting, and it, it was it's sickening. And absolutely sickening, okay? And you can't use the excuse of, well, you know, he was fighting back and he wasn't cooperating. It, it doesn't matter. Like, the officer clearly was using excessive force that he didn't need to use, and he ended up murdering this innocent man because of that. So again, I don't care how much, how pro-police, how pro-cop you are. It doesn't matter. You, What this officer did is indefensible, no matter what you say. And I think that everybody should agree on that. This shouldn't be a left versus right thing or a liberal conservative thing. I think everybody should be able to agree on this. Okay, if you've seen the footage and you can't agree with that, then you are retarded. I'm sorry, but it's it's the truth, okay? He clearly murdered this innocent man. He used excessive force when he didn't need to. And, you know, and it, it, was, it was a white police officer and a black man, so naturally this has all exploded into, you know, a debate that quite frankly has been going on for years and years and years, but it has exploded into, you know, the debate of racism, you know, um, white people versus black people. Um, and of course the media has cashed in on this and, and is, you know, and I'll get to the, to that, the media in a minute, but as as well as the officers, the three other officers that were complicit in this murder, they did fuck all to stop him. They did fuck all to stop Derek Chauvin from murdering this innocent man. They didn't they didn't come over and be like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, get off of him. You're not you, what the fuck are you doing? No, they just they stood there and did nothing. So I think that what the officer did is disgusting. Absolutely vile. 
and I think that I know that he has been put in jail. And I, uh, the same New York Times article that I read, apparently he's being met with charges of uh, manslaughter and murder. Hopefully first degree murder, but uh, if there's any type of justice, it, you know, it, in this country, then he will be sentenced to for first degree murder and he will serve life in prison without the possibility of parole. And if you're for the death sentence, then, you know, which I, I don't know if the state that he's in has the death sentence or not, but it, hypothetically, if he did get the death sentence, I wouldn't be bothered by that either. So, so that's my opinion. I think that the, the officer should be, the full force of the law should take care of him, and he should be, he should live his life out in the worst misery possible. So, <clears throat> and I think that, like I said, the whole, the, the race thing, you know, the, the, you know, the white privilege and, and, and this, de this, this debate, again, racism, black people, white people, you know, privilege, oppression, you know, this talk, this debate has been going on for years and years and years. And I think that this situation is, a, it's, it's, it's more than that. It's much more than that. It's much bigger than that. I think it really points to the flaws in, the, in our justice system and more than anything to a very corrupt police force. And I think it shows that, you know, whatever, whatever tests or however you do so, whatever you have to go through in becoming a cop, um, those, you know, and I, I, I'm not familiar at all with, you know, the, the tests and whatnot that you go through to become a cop, but I think those need to be reevaluated as well. Like, I don't know if they have like, uh, like cycle, like you have, you the person who's trying to become a cop, they go through some type of mental, uh, mental screening or something and can be tested for any signs of like psychopathy or sociopathy or narcissism or antisocial personality or something. Um, if they don't have that, then that should, that, I think that should be put into the, to the screening or the testing or whatever goes into becoming a cop training, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think that's what the biggest issue is here is a, you know, very, very, very corrupt police force and a justice system that needs reforming. Times are changing and some things need to be reformed. And in a lot of ways, you know, there have been a lot of, there's been a lot of progress with a lot of things. You know, some things maybe not in a good way as opposed to others, but that's another video. It's a whole other different type of video, different type of discussion for a different day. Um... <laughs> But yeah, you know, things are changing, and the justice system needs to change too, I think. And there needs to be a reevaluated and readjusted and re-updated. As far as, you know, and, and, and again, going back to the whole the race thing for a second, and, you know, the thing is, is that there are so many cases of corrupt police officers um abusing their power and, and, you know, abusing their authority <clears throat> against all different types of people. You know, there's so many cases that go unreported by the mainstream media news and whatnot. Cases of, you know, white police officers, um, you know, abusing their power against other white people. Uh, cases of uh, black cops ab abusing their authority against Hispanic people. Um, you know, I mean, and as far as racism goes, racism can go in a bunch of different ways. It's not just black versus white. I mean, you know, Hispanics can be racist towards black people, you know. Uh, black people can be racist towards Asian people. I mean, you know, Hispanics can be racist towards Asian people. I mean, it can go all sorts of ways, okay? But the mainstream media loves to focus on one, you know, one specific type of racism. And they like to... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but they, they, they like to take advantage of it, exploit it. That's, that's where I'm looking for. They like to exploit situations like these and cause even more tension and even more, 
uh, negativity because that's what the mainstream media likes to do. And what, whether it's CNN, whether it's MSNBC, Fox News, whatever, they're all the same. They're slightly different flavors because they each have their own bias, their own political bias. But they're all the same. They love, they love to perpetuate negativity and tension and paranoia and fear. And I think they've really shown that with, you know, the coronavirus. You know, they have, they, all they've done is try to instill fear in the American people. That's what, they love doing that. They, they, they love to do that. And they're doing the exact same thing with this situation. I have nothing but disdain for the mainstream media. But I, I could go on all day about that, and I, I have my own... That might be another video for another day as far as the mainstream media goes, but... Now, getting on to the riots, um, I think I've made, I've, I've established, you know, what my feelings are on the officer who murdered George Floyd, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's the position that I think most people, if not everyone, should have. As far as, as, as the riots go, and the people who are rightfully outraged and upset, because I do, I, I think the people who are actually, you know, outraged and upset over this, I think that... I do think there are some of these rioters who are just simply opportunists who, you know, they, 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 they wouldn't do any of this, any of this shit like, you know, before, but now they have a perfect op opportunity to do so. And so now they're doing, you know, you know, looting and, 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 what, and all this other shit, you know, throwing bricks into windows and burning shit down and whatnot, you know. some of them, but, you know, the people that are outraged and upset over this, they have every right to be mad and outraged and upset over this. They do. I'm not saying that they don't. You know, and there's, there's protests going on, uh, pe you know, not, not a attacking innocent people or, or burning shit down. I mean, there are actual protests going on out there, and I don't have, a, I'm fine with that. You know, that's acceptable, but, well, in my eyes it is, but it, you know, that's, that's just my own opinion, but, as far as the riots go, I, I don't think, I don't agree with it. I think that there are better ways to address the issue. And quite frankly, I think that the riots are really going to just perpetuate the problem more than anything. I think that certain people are going to look at, at what's going on with these riots, or what, what has gone on with these riots. You know... You know, with, with all the shit that's been going on, I mean, again, burning shit down, looting, um, uh, even people who are just caught up in, in the, in the, you know, in the wrong place at the wrong time, getting, getting injured or harmed or possibly even killed, uh, they're gonna look at that and they're gonna think, oh shit, you know, we need more, you know, you know, we need more police. And, and the, the thing is, that it's, it's, like I said, it's only going to perpetuate the problem. It's not actually going to address the real problems with, you know, again, with police brutality, uh, corruption with police, um, you know, corruption with the justice system. It's not going to do anything to address the real, the real actual problem. It's just going to perpetuate the problem. And if anything, shit like this is only going to, you know, exacerbate more police brutality and, and more of the same shit that caused the death of George Floyd. You know, in my opinion, when 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 the riots started, that's that's when you know any when the focus on George Floyd was was instantly the the focus on George Floyd instantly vanished. Like maybe in their minds that that isn't that isn't the case, but in my mind, as soon as you start throwing bricks through windows, as soon as you start burning down buildings, and you know. And in the process, injuring innocent people, um, and all this other shit, you know, you know, burning, you know, slashing tires, whatever else, you know, as soon as you start doing that, then any justice and any, any focus on George Floyd is, just, is, you know, just instantly vanishes, in my opinion, anyways, you know, I, I, it, and another thing is that, I've seen some people say that 
well, you know, they shouldn't have, they don't, they shouldn't feel the need to have to be driven to this point. They, they, they feel that there is no other option. They shouldn't be made to feel that this is the only option that they have. My problem with that statement is that it takes all accountability away. Like it, 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 it takes all the accountability away from these actions because it insinuates that they have absolutely no other choice. And the truth is they always have a choice, okay? We all always have a choice. When something happens, we all have a choice as to what to do or how to approach it or how to tackle it. No matter how upset we are, no matter how emotionally charged we are, we always have a choice. Okay, it's really just a choice of, okay, are you going to get caught up in the heat of the moment? Or are you going to get caught up in your emotion and make, a, a, you know, uh, take an action that you might regret later on? Or are you going to take a few seconds to breathe, to try to anyways, and try to think more rationally and say, okay, how should I best approach this, this, this problem without taking an action that I might end up regretting later or that might lead to something worse? Okay. And, you know, it's not easy to do that. I'm not even saying that it's easy to do that because it is easier said than done. It's easy to get emotional and get upset and then to, you know, put your fucking fist through a fucking wall and then, you know, not even think about it at the moment, but then later on think, wow, that probably wasn't the best idea. You know? So, even to that extent, I can understand where the rioters are coming from. And I've also tried to put myself in their shoes. Like, for example, in, you know, this completely hypothetical, but let's say I was in, uh, er, that me and Zach were in the state of, let's say, Mississippi, for example, and it, we did something that was, that was construed as, as, as illegal or whatever, and one of the officers, uh, took, you know, me or Zach aside and handcuffed us, and then, you know, it led to the same thing that led to George Floyd's death, and one of us died, you know, um, so if, if, if that were ha to happen to Zach, and God forbid, if what happened to George Floyd hypothetically were to happen to Zach, and this police officer, hypothetical police officer anyways, uh, did the same thing to Floyd, would do the same thing to Zach as did to George Floyd, I'd be pretty fucking pissed too. And I'd probably want to burn some shit down, too. <laughs> you know, I'd probably want to, you know, re fuck some shit up as well. You know? And when you really try to put yourself in the shoes of the rioters and, and try to get into that mindset as best as you can anyways, you can almost understand where they're coming from. You know? Um, and another thing is that and I know this is this is kind of a, a side a side really quickly, but I've also taken the I've taken some time off Facebook and social media to just because I need to take a break from it all. But I've also found that it's it's uh, allowed me to think about all this uh, a little more with a more clear mind. Uh, and to try to uh, put myself in the shoes of these, of, of, you know, people who are rioting, protesting and whatnot. And it, it, it's helped a lot. It's helped when you're not constantly being barraged by, it seems like, one side or the other. Because it, it just seems very, you know, black and white at the moment. You know, because... You, you, you got one side. I mean, I'm not saying there's only two sides. I mean, there's there's nuance. There can be nuance to this issue. But I mean, you've got one side who's kind of like you know, you know, yeah, you know, fuck the pol you know, fuck, fuck all cops, fuck the police entirely, fuck you know all this, you know, the riot, you know that you know pro, you know pro, they're pro for the riots. They're you know pro riot people. Uh, and then you got the other side who are readily pointing out that. Uh, 
who are standing up for, you know, cops who aren't bad and, and, and you know, heavily, heavily, heavily criticizing the riots and, and, and whatnot. And, you know, you've got, you know, your two sides. Then you've got some people who are kind of in between who, you know, are trying to play devil's advocate and whatnot. And I'm sure you've got other takes on it too, all, all sorts of different takes. But there are definitely, when it comes to, it, to situations like these, there's always two big sides, but then there's always other takes as well and with more nuanced opinions and whatnot. That's how I see it anyways. Um, but no, I mean, like, you know, I, I've taken a break from social media and I've tried to do like I what I just said. I've tried to think about it from their point of view and attempt to try to understand where they're coming from. Um, and again, when I, when I put myself in their shoes and I think about, you know, if the same type of thing would happen to me, um, or, you know, as similar as it can be anyways, I can almost understand. Um, but at the end of the day, I simply do not think that I don't think the riots are going to help like I said I think it's just going to perpetuate the problem which is again you know corrupt police uh corrupt police force police brutality etc etc um it's only going to perpetuate it and it's only going to cause you know more which you know that's another thing the news is always on at my work um and it's probably the only time that I actually do watch, you know, the mainstream news anyways. Um, and there was a protest. I don't know where it was. I think it might have been like Miami, Miami, Florida. There was a protest um, and there was a line of cops, you know, there was protesters, a uh, line of cops. Um, and basically what ended up happening is the cops and the protesters ended up coming together and you know one of the protesters one of the cops you know they hugged it they they hugged and then they start the protesters and the cops walked side by side down the street and you know it was a really good sight to see because more than anything that's what we need i mean regardless of what side you're on what your political ideology is what whether you're conservative, liberal, libertarian, centrist, you know, Democrat, Republican, you know, Green Party, I mean, well, you know, whatever. I mean, that's more than anything what we need right now is, is just unity and, and, and an attempt to understand, I guess, one another's uh, points of view and, and, and opinions and, and whatnot. Um, which is another thing, another reason why I kind of try, decided to step away from social media for a little bit is it, it doesn't help to when you're trying to um, think about the situation, form your own opinions. You know, it doesn't help when you've got certain people posting passive-aggressive posts or outwardly just straight-up aggressive posts, basically saying that if you have this opinion or if you have this critique, then you're wrong, you're part of the problem, you're a bigoted person automatically, yada, yada, yada. All it does is irritate you or incense you or just get you downright pissed off. And I found that, you know, by taking a break from that and not having those posts constantly, you know, bombarding me, that I can actually uh, uh, think more clearly and take more of a devil's advocate position with, you know, some of the stances that I disagree with. So, although I disagree with, you know, the riots and whatnot, and I don't think it's going to do anything to solve anything or help the situation at all or, or any, do anything to address the actual problems, um, it's allowed me to try to put myself, again, put myself in the shoes of the rioters and, try, and, and to try to understand their viewpoint and where they're coming from. And getting away from social media and, you know... That and my own little bubble on social media has better helped me to try to understand where some other people would, with differing opinions are coming from. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, so... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to address with, with this situation. But... 
Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a it's a crazy time we're living in right now. Uh, I, I think it was at the beginning of this year we, there was you know we, there was the talks of I think it was at the beginning of this year they they were like oh you know World War Three is gonna happen and all this you know when Trump took out the you know the the, the person I can't the whoever it was. And people were saying, oh, it's going to start World War III, and there were all the memes, and then uh, and the coronavirus happened, and then there was, people were freaking out about that for a little bit, and the toilet paper shortage, and all that shit. Um, and now this, uh, with, with the riots that have started spreading across the country, you know, um, you know, the riots, and the protests too, I mean, I think the protests are doing more to... Uh, it, the protests are more productive, in my opinion, far more productive, and I think that's a good, a better way to go about things rather than, you know, uh, you know, the, the rioting and, and, and whatnot, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it just, it feels like we're living in, like, a, a history, you know, a, a, like, this is gonna go down in, in history textbooks, I mean, it just, it feels like we're, we're living, you know, you know, current day, you know, history and whatnot, if that even makes any sense, but anyways, um, let's see, is there anything else I want to address, uh, oh, well, uh, kind of a, a sub point with the whole rioting thing, but, um, you know, something that I still, uh, don't agree, agree with, uh, even, even with trying to, you know, kind of open my mind a little bit, is, you know, the burning down and destroying of private property, uh, more specifically, you know, mom and pop businesses, privately owned businesses, um, you know, as far as the Targets and the Walmarts and it, those businesses, you know, corporations, I mean, I don't approve of that either, but at the same time, they're corporations, they'll be fine, you know, um, the only people, the only, the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it puts people out of work. So, I mean, you know, you burn the Walmart down to the ground or you, or you, 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 you know, loot all the shit from it, destroy it. Okay, well now these people are out of a job and some of those people might have, de might have depended on that Walmart job. So, I mean, you know, I mean, that's just, that's, again, that's just my opinion. Um... But other than that, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that they'll be able to build another building and they'll be fine. But, you know, with some of these, with a lot of these private businesses, though, I mean, they're not corporations. I mean, these people put a lot of hard work and time and blood and sweat and tears into, into you know, building these businesses up. And, you know, it, and because of what happened and, and it, it, it gets destroyed. And, and, and for what? Because, again, they happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. They got caught up in the gunfire. Like it just, it's I I I don't I can't understand that. I can't can't understand that, and I don't see it as right. I don't agree with that. You know, certainly. And there was that one. There was that one case that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of with that one guy who was black, um, who had opened a sports bar, and it got destroyed. So it's like all his hard work, all, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears that he put into building that, that sports bar, now it's all gone. All his hard work destroyed, you know? You know, it's 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 it, it's a very gray issue for sure, because I don't, look, I don't think that looting and, uh, and burning stuff down and whatnot, although I may heavily, heavily, heavily disagree with it, I don't think that that is worse than what happened to George Floyd, okay? An innocent life was taken, an innocent man was murdered, and that overshadows anything else. The only thing that would overshadow that is, pe is innocent people, other innocent people, who, you know, get harmed or even possibly killed because of the riots or because they got stuck in one of these buildings or whatever. That would be the only thing that overshadows it, okay? But as far as, you know, it is innocent people getting harmed or whatever aside, 
you know, looting and stuff. No, it doesn't overshadow the murder of George Floyd. You know, an innocent man murdered by an asshole corrupt cop. I'm not saying that it's on the same level. I've seen people who post that too. I'm not saying it's on the same level. I'm not saying that that shit overshadows the death of George Floyd. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just saying that the means with which you're choosing to uh, address this issue with and, it, you know, in effect, some of the people that it's, that it's affecting uh, is very flawed, uh, problematic, as, you know, as, as certain people like to say, but, you know, I, I, you know so, I don't know, I, I guess what I'm, what, you know, I said this video, I said at the beginning this video was probably going to be rambly, if I didn't say that then, I'll say it now, this video has been very rambly, I, you know, I don't have a script, I, I do these videos on the fly, very obviously, hopefully this video has made some type of sense thus far, but, but yeah, I just, it, it it's, it's shit like that, that, that why I say that, like, you know, as soon as this shit starts happening, it takes all the focus away from the George Floyd, you know, murder, um, with, you know, a corrupt police force, uh, and it puts the focus on a bunch of other shit, which is why, another reason why I think that, you know, rioting, the method of rioting that's been taken up is a, a very flawed one, you know, and uh, a flawed way of, of trying to tackle and address this issue, um, and I don't think it tackles or addresses anything, really, uh, I think it's just going to perpetuate what the problem is, but I've already went into that, but <sighs> anyways, I guess in summation, um, to really sum up this video, um, I think that what happened with George Floyd is a miscarriage of justice. I think it's, I think it's, uh, disgusting. Again, disgusting, vile, indefensible. There's no way you can you can defend, you know, in any way, shape, or form what happened. Okay, an innocent man was murdered by a corrupt police officer who was supposed to protect and serve, supposedly, but wasn't. The exact opposite. Um, and Derek Chauvin, the officer who did it, uh, again, should be sentenced to life in prison with with no chance of parole. And hopefully he gets uh, gang beaten and gang raped by the inmates, quite frankly, um, as he would deserve. And hopefully uh, the rest of his life is absolutely miserable. And he lives out a life of misery and pain and horror. Just like, you know the last few minutes of George Floyd's life and the police officers who were complicit in Floyd's murder deserve the exact same thing. And I, I stand behind that 100% as everyone else should. But I simply don't agree with the way some people have chosen have chosen to approach this, which is the riots and you know shit like that. Um, and I think it's unfortunate that some people, again, the owners of private businesses and private business private businesses, private property, whatever, um, have gotten caught up in the gunfire and have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. That their shit has gotten you know destroyed as a result. Um, it's not fair to those people. Um, but it's not fair to George Floyd's family or George Floyd himself that his life was taken away prematurely because, again, of a hateful, bigoted, corrupt pol police officer and because of three other officers who were complicit and stood by and did absolutely fuck all, did nothing to stop it. So... Anyways, uh, I think that's about it. Um, and I guess one final thing I'll say is that, you know, I, I get that 
this is a point that a friend of mine, Atticus the Death Metaler, you know, was pointing out to me the other day. And unfortunately, at the time, I was not in the greatest of moods, and I didn't react the best way possible, and I intentionally tried to split hairs, and I know I've already... Atticus, I know you'll probably watch this. I know I sent you a message, and you and you were cool, and said there was nothing to apologize about. I get that we're cool and everything, but even still, I do apologize for that. Um, I understand. I get that it's it's a general consensus. I feel like with a lot of Americans that that uh, that most cops, if not all cops, and police in general are just corrupt, uh, hateful, scary, just bastards in general um i understand that um but i simply i i can't wrap my head around that and look i'm not saying that there aren't some cops out there that are corrupt i'm not i'll, I'll, I'll even say that i'm not saying that that a lot of them aren't but you know i i, I can't believe i can't have the belief that every single cop in this world is a terrible person with an agenda who isn't truly trying to do their job to the best of their ability. And this is going to be kind of anecdotal, but, you know, there's a cop that lives across the street from me, you know, um, Officer Steve, he has the same name as, as I do, coincidentally. Um, and, you know, I see him across the street, and he's got two, he's got two little boys, he's got a wife, and I see him being a, being a dad, and, 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 and playing with his two sons, and just being a father, you know. So, I know it's, it's hard to, it's easy to take up, you know, just, you know, fuck the police, and, and whatnot, and I can understand the, 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 I can understand why people are taking up that position, I can understand the mindset of that, especially right now with, with, with this situation, especially if you've watched the footage that is, and it's very disturbing and horrific and vile, but just try to remember that some, there are some cops out there that aren't bad, that are just human beings like the rest of us that are trying to do their job to the best of their ability, that are actually trying to protect and serve, you know, uh, yeah, basically. Because um, I've gone after SJWs on this channel before. I've gone after, you know, third, fourth wave feminists who like to generalize, you know, different groups of people as being all bad as, and, you know, with men as being all rapists and stuff. And I do that. So I can't... Do, I can't use that same method with cops because number one, I just I can't again with with what I just explained. Number two, that would make me a hypocrite because I've gone through other people for for using that same method for different groups of people. Uh, so, but again, that's my opinion. Everything I've said in this video are my beliefs and my beliefs only. I'm not saying that they're gospel or that they're truth. These are my opinions, one person, one person's opinions, and that's all. That's all it is. That's all they are. So feel free to tell me what you think. Uh, if you think I'm full of shit, you know, you can certainly tell me so and tell me why. Um, and uh, if if uh, if you agree with anything, point that out too. But uh, that's going to be the end for this one. This has been a fucking long, like almost 39 minutes. So, um, again, told you this is going to be a long and rambly video. So, anyways, um, that's it for this one. Uh, I might be back soon. I don't know. Anyways, peace. Have a good day. Um, everyone out there you know, of all races and nationalities and sexualities and just everyone out there, everyone of, 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 from all different walks of life, try to hang in there. Just, just try, try to hang in there. Try to, try to keep some hope. Try to, you know, just keep fighting the good fight. That's all I can say. So peace and have a good day.